Hello everyone, Sanket here. Uh, welcome to the second tutorial on molecular docking using Autodock Wiener. In the last uh, video, we prepared um, uh, the protein and the ligand. Uh, use the PDB Qt files, what we can see, and we also prepared the grid, uh, which you can uh, see here. Um, and then what we did is we uh, saved all of these grid dimensions uh, into our docking folder. Um, uh, you can I just want to show you that you can also move the grid dimensions. If you can see here, uh, if I change these, the grid is moving yes yeah so this way you can actually uh, move the grid dimensions depending on where your pocket region is okay but uh, what i suggest to you is that if you are unsure where the pocket region or the docking site is for the protein you can keep the default dimensions which the uh, auto grid has predicted here so this was the default predictions which has which it had predicted so i um, say that you stick with it now um, now what today in this video what we are going to do is we are going to perform the docking now how do you perform uh, docking in autodoc mina so this is your config file you can see here which has been created um, uh, which i have created uh, so it's a uh, using text document uh, .txt you can create a config file here now uh, when you open this config file i'll zoom it uh, you have the receptor so you have to enter these things beforehand you have to enter receptor ligand center x center y center z size x size y size z energy range and exhaustiveness now what you do is in receptor um, you have to enter the name of the protein so you remember we had saved it as protein dot uh, pdb qt okay uh, ligand will be ligand dot uh, pdb qt okay um, now it's your center uh, underscore x so you remember the grid file what we had okay so this is your center x this is your center y and this is your center z so you copy your uh, you copy your um, center x okay then uh, center y and center Z okay so we have copied now the center X center Y center Z the size X if you can see is 40 40 40 you can ignore the spacing that's no problem so the size here is 40 40 40 so uh, let's copy it it's 40 it's 40 and it's 40 if you're confused what the uh, 40 40 was it was this one the 40 40 40 which was your size uh, yeah the energy range okay so what exactly is the energy ranges you have a, a docking score um, uh, what is predicted so what should be the difference between the docking score between your highest and the lowest what is predicted? so there, it predicts various poses okay so what should be the difference in the energy values between your highest and your lowest so uh, by default we generally consider it as four okay um, the exhaustiveness so what now exactly is exhaustiveness is how many times is your uh, his is the autodoc mina going to carry out docking till we get the best and the final pose so in this case we so it's you can call it as an exhaustive study so in this case we always consider as a default as an eight so eight times it is going to carry out an exhaustive docking studies till it uh, presents us with the final pose so this here is your config file so it contains all the information which is required for docking here all right so we save this okay do not forget to save this and then we close it so now in your docking you have this config file which is created here okay uh, we can close this auto dock tools we don't need them now okay um, yeah you can close it so uh, now we have the config file ready now it is time for us to run uh, docking using autodoc Vina. now if you go to our search if you search it 
you will see that if I type winner, you will see an executable file. Okay, you won't find um, uh, a, a software tool where the winner runs. Uh, that is because there is no software tool, uh, the GUI basically for winner. So uh, uh, Autodoc winner runs on command prompt. So now what you simply have to do is you have to go to search, type CMD. CMD stands uh, stands for the command prompt. So you will have this command prompt uh, box being opened. Now, um, when you install, uh, uh, you remember the um, link for the Autodoc Wiener, what we had given, you had ex uh, installed it. So uh, your Autodoc Wiener will install in your C drive. This probably would be the pathway, it would be a C drive program uh, files. It would be then in this uh, folder called as the Scripts Research Institute. In this, you'll have two, you'll have Autodoc and Wiener. So you can do it by Autodoc also, you can do it, uh, do the docking by Autodoc Wiener. We'll be performing it uh, using Autodoc Wiener. So you click on Autodoc Wiener. So yeah, here is your application file. Now, how do you actually run the Autodoc Wiener is, first, you have to give the path to where your files are. So this is my path, I'll just copy it. I'll do Control C, which is copy, and then I'll paste it. So CD space, paste. Okay, click on enter. So now it's it's given this path. So this path is already there. Uh, now I have to run uh, your uh, Vina. Now how do I do this? Is I copy the path which is given here. So I say Control C, then uh, what it call pa paste. And now I have to call the exe file. This is just the path which was given. So then vina.exe. Okay. So now I've called the path. Uh, now I to double dash receptor. Okay. So uh, remember now I'm calling actually uh, it's it is in this uh, basically folder. So I'm calling the protein dot pdb qt. Remember you type pdb qt. So it's protein dot pdb qt then uh, ligand is ligand dot pdb qt um, then it's the config file so double dash config then i call the uh, config file this is config dot txt so it's the config file which is there um, then I uh, then the log file sorry then the log file okay so it's log.txt and um, so log file uh, whatever it's running in the docking which will be running in the docking will be saved in this log file and then the output so this output file uh, sorry so it's out so this output file is your poses here so whatever your docking poses will be present as output file. So now if I click on enter, yeah, okay. So if you can see the docking has actually been uh, started. If you uh, if you can see in this folder, there is a log file which has already been generated. Uh, so once the entire complete docking is done, you will uh, find it um, in the log file it being generated. Yeah, can you see? So it's hundred percent. When uh, this thing reaches 100%, that is the time your docking is done. And uh, once your docking is done, then finally what also comes, uh, uh, what also generates here will be an output dot uh, PDB QT file. Now, depending upon the size of the protein, uh, this might uh, take time. So if your macromolecule is large, uh, it can take close to two to three minutes for one single docking to get over. Um, so uh, I'll pause for some time once it gets completed and I will come back. Hi, uh, we are back. It's You can see it's close to getting over. It's coming close to 100%. Uh, well, in the system, it doesn't make sense. If you have a large files you want to do, then uh, you can go for a cluster. But yeah, now finally we have done it. Uh, you can see it. I can. I, I think I'll probably show it in the log file. Okay, um, it will be much better if I do that. Yeah. Yeah, so this was the entire uh, generation what we had done. Um, 
okay so this is the nine poses which has been created and uh, these are your docking scores so you have uh, minus 6.3 minus 5.8 minus 5.6 minus 5.3 so going from the highest to the lowest now minus 6.3 so that is your first pose is uh, will be considered as your is at, at 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 least if you look at here it looks as your highest affinity so um uh, now th this is this is what it has been generated now let's see how it actually looks when you're visualizing it now you have this output.pdbqt file which has been generated so these are your lag impulses so um you open your pymol okay the one which we had downloaded earlier you open your pymol and uh, now what you do is you first import your protein structure so this is uh, our protein structure uh, the protein uh, the p53 if you remember what we had taken now we have to import also your ligand molecules so uh, we'll drag and drop this output dot pdbqt here Okay, so so did you see then uh, output file being generated? And if you can see, it is one of nine. So there are nine poses. Uh, what I can do is I can just um, yeah show this. So these are the nine poses um, and uh, the docking scores for the nine poses. And this is your first pose, okay, which is giving us uh, an affinity of. Um, or a docking score of uh, basically minus uh, 6.3 kilocal per mole so out of the nine poses this pose is what we are considering as um, the best pose uh, i could show it uh, sorry i could show it to you uh, show as say surface yeah now you can see this pocket region is where um, this um, uh, ligand of ours has actually docked now if you want to look at the other poses also you can uh, on your keyboard you have these arrows so you have the um, uh, left and uh, the right arrow so you can press the right arrow so when I do that yeah you can see the confirmation being changed and you, know, you can see the pose also being changed so this is your second pose so your second pose then you have the third pose so like this you can have uh, all the uh, nine uh, poses being generated yeah the nine poses now uh, what what actually autodoc here uh, has uh, done is uh, uh, that it has uh, as i said we had just selected the grid for the entire protein so uh, based on where it uh, felt to be on a, a pocket site it has um, docked itself so uh, you should so if you do not know what is the pocket site of the protein okay uh, we can say these are the th three most probable sites for p53 where your ligand can bind but we know that this is one of the region where your uh, docking for p53 can take place so this your first um, pose uh, will can uh, be considered as your best dock pose uh, also if you look at its uh, binding score its uh, binding score is uh, minus 6.3 so after you have uh, found out which is the best docking you can also find out what are the various uh, ligands which is with, with which it is interacting in the pocket region and uh, if this uh, ligand works uh, successful you can uh, take it forward in your uh, drug discovery or uh, drug development stage yeah and we have uh, successfully performed docking using autodoc vena tool uh, I hope you have uh, understood. Uh, thank you uh, very much um, for coming uh, here on this channel and uh, I wish that you uh, like, subscribe and share uh, this video uh, with your friends and with your colleagues. So uh, thank you very much and uh, have a good day. Bye.